Okay, question four presents us with a nice little diagram, as you can see here. And we're told that the angle of depression from a kookaburra's feet to a worm on the ground. So there's my kookaburra. That's the worm. And the angle of depression is the angle between a horiz imaginary horizontal downwards towards the line that joins the kookaburra to the worm. So that's 40 degrees. That's the angle of depression. The worm is 15 meters from a point on the ground directly below the kookaburra's feet. So if you look directly below the kookaburra's feet, that's here. From here to here, it's 15 meters. We're asked how high above the ground are the kookaburra's feet. So in other words, we're trying to find this the length of this side here. So I'm going to call that H. And we're asked to find it correct to the nearest meter. Okay. So if you look at this triangle, it's a right angle triangle. So we can use right angle trigonometry. And this angle here, because this imaginary horizontal and the ground are parallel, we can say that this angle is 40 degrees because alternate angles are equal because these two lines are parallel, these two. Okay. Alternate angles are equal. Okay, so we've got a right angle triangle with this angle being 40 and we have to find H. So the H is the opposite side, opposite to the 40 degrees. The 15 meters is the adjacent. So that's what we're given, the opposite and the adjacent. And the hypotenuse isn't, which is this side, isn't really important for this question. So opposite over adjacent is tan theta. And in this question, theta would be 40 degrees. So tan 40 is the opposite, which is h over adjacent, which is 15 meters. So to make h the subject, we need to get rid of this 15. So we're going to multiply the left hand side by 15. So it cancels out. And what we do to the left, we must do to the right. So multiply the right hand side by 15 and we get 15 tan 40 degrees. So to convert that into a number, we need to use the calculator. So I'll plug that into the calculator and you should get h equaling to 12.5864 and it continues. Okay, so since this is, we need to round off to the nearest meter. So since this is a five, if, if this number is five or more, we need to increase 12 by 1. So since it's a 5, this becomes, it rounds off to 13. So our answer is C for that question.